Hello everyone, I'm the French scientist, and today we'll try to better understand why giants do not exist in real life, why ants are stronger than elephants, and why the blue whale is the largest animal on Earth. Spoiler alert, it is related to how strength scales with the size of the animal, known as the square cube law. To illustrate and explain what scaling is, we'll do something we often do in science, simplification. So to simplify things down, I'm going to use cubes to represent your legs. And your legs, in most terrestrial animals, support the body weight. But first, we need to consider two things. First, that the strength is proportional to the cross-sectional area of the leg. This is why people who are able to lift heavy charges are also the one with like, big muscles. Or, to take another example, why bigger ropes are able to sustain heavier charges than thin ropes. The second important thing to consider is that your body mass is proportional to your volume. So that's why typically animals or people who are heavier are also the largest ones. Let's get back to our cubes and let's start with a single cube of one by one by one. So if I draw it on the board, it will be one by one by one. Calculating the cross-sectional area of a cube is actually very simple, right? It's all just relating to calculating the area here of one of the face. And the area of a cube is simply its length to the power of 2. The volume of a cube is simply its length to the power of 3. So, in this example, we can easily calculate the cross-sectional area, for example, this section, and the volume of the cube, okay? So, it is equal here to 1 squared, or 1, and it's equal to 1 to the power of 3, which is also 1. Now, what would happen if we double the size of a cube? Each, if L, the length of the cube is multiplied by 2. The area and the volume will not be multiplied by 2. So let's draw it. It's L, it's L, L, it's L, etc. And now it's equal to 2L. And the cross-sectional area is this. So for a cube of length 2 instead of 1, the cross-sectional area will be equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. And the volume will be equal to 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 by 2, 4 by 2, 8. In other words, when the size of the cube increases by a factor x, in that case 2, the cross-sectional area increases by a factor of 2 to the power of 2, but the volume the mass will increase by a factor x cubed. Let's take another example. Imagine you're measuring 1.80 meters, all right, 180 centimeters, and you're weighing about 80 kilograms. If somehow you increase your size by 10, now you will be 18 meters high, and you will be 100 times stronger, 10 to the power of 2 but you will also weigh a thousand times more than what you were weighing. So you will weigh now about more than 80 tons. That's about the weight of 13 elephants or the weight of the space shuttle. Your bones would simply break under your own weight. Unless your bones were made of different materials like, I don't know, adamantium. Hey, so let's see if you really understood what the square cube law is and tell me in the comments what would your weight be if your size increased by a factor of 5. Now, Galileo discovered this principle more than 400 years ago, that areas scale with the square of the length, but volumes scale with the cube of the length. This explains why elephants can only lift about maybe 10% of their own body mass, right? Around 500 kilograms and they weigh 5 tons or more. But ants can lift 
more than 50 times per own weight and why you can typically only lift about 50 to 80 percent of your own weight and we're not talking about maximal charges we're talking about the charge that you can lift and sustain for a certain amount of time this also explains why the total surface area is important for heat regulation as the object increases in size the total surface area compared to the volume is reduced in other words as the organism is growing its mass its volume is growing and it's producing typically more heat especially for mammals but the proportion of skin that is able to help to regulate temperature for convection is less and less and less in other words as similar things get bigger and bigger their volume increases faster than their total surface area and because the heat produced by body is proportional to its volume that's why large terrestrial animals have a hard time to cool down and for example elephants through evolution developed one solution to this problem they have this large and flat ears that help them to increase size total surface area to cool down and this also explains why the blue whale is the largest animal on earth and the water the principle of buoyancy helps the animals to feel lighter right in other words the water helps to support the body mass of the animals and their skin is always in contact with water which helps to regulate heat through another process called conduction. There are definitely much more than square cube low to explain why we don't see horses the size of elephants or ants the size of ducks. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to explore more one of those topics. If you enjoyed the video, you can hit the like button, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, it was the French Scientist and I'll see you next time.